Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your general reading for the first half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. If you're new, please do check the description box below. Everything you need to know is down there, all kinds of information, decks I'm using, readings, everything you need to know. So please do go check that out, be greatly appreciated. And uh, before we get started here, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. To those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation for the channel, is very, very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much. And uh, I couldn't do it without you guys, so thank you, thank you. And all your support really means a lot to me. And I love to do this for you guys, so thank you, thank you, thank you. So Sagittarius, first half of August. Can you believe August already? This is general reading. Let's see what comes out here. This is a zodiac oracle. So we may get a sign, element, or planet energy. And if you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. The rest of the re reading may be for you. So please, you know, stay tuned. All right, Sagittarius, first half of August, general reading. What kind of energy is around Sagittarius for the first half of August? For this general reading, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. One card for Sagittarius and that one. Okay, let's see what we have. Pisces. Okay. So, maybe dealing with a Pisces in some way. All right. Let's see what's going on. If you're not dealing with a Pisces, maybe you have Pisces in your chart. Or uh, maybe someone around you could have Pisces in their chart. I don't know, we'll see. So with this deck here, we'll get your overall energy for the first half of August. See what's going on with you. The Sagittarius, general reading. Spirit, please, first half of August. What's going on with Sagittarius, first half of August? Spirit, please. Message most needed. Sagittarius. One card for Sagittarius. Just one card, please. For Sagittarius. What's oh. All right. One card, please. Spirit. For Sagittarius. What's going on? Feeling that one? High priest or priestess. Hmm. All right. Sagittarius. So this is having higher a higher spiritual connection. This is being divinely connected to source, to your spirit guides, your angels, your team, to faith, spirituality, God, whatever it is for you that you look up to, you pray to. Uh, this is being very divinely uh, connected. And this is trusting your intuition, your gut feelings, your higher knowing, the thoughts in your gut and in your mind, and trusting, trusting that. Oh, okay. So, orphan. All right, so, bottom of the deck energy. So, this doesn't mean you're an orphan. This just means that you're feeling, you know, kind of neglected, left out in the cold, maybe lonely uh, in a situation here, or you're leaving somebody behind or something behind that's no longer serving you. So, I don't know. We'll see what's going on. Or maybe you're feeling like you don't fit in uh, anywhere in a, any kind of situation, whether it's friends, family, work. You know, you just feel like cold and isolated and unfulfilled and lonely and sad and um, like you don't fit in, you don't belong there. It's like you know that with the high priestess energy. Whatever your situation is here, you're feeling like you don't fit in, you don't belong there anymore. And this is feeling like lonely and cold. And here's the wisdom with the high priestess. So trusting your inner wisdom, your higher knowing, your sauce, your gut feelings, your intuition, and, ha and trusting your wisdom. All right, so what's going on, Sag? What's going on? This deck is very hard to shuffle, so I'll do my best here. But it's so darn cute. All right, Sagittarius. 
this is a tarot. It's sort of like a tarot slash oracle, but I do use it as a tarot card deck. So, come on, shuffle for me, please. Okay, let's do one more. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on with Sagittarius? What's going on with Sagittarius? Why are they feeling orphaned and cold and lonely and abandoned and they don't fit in anywhere? All right, let's see what we have. We have the Prince of Summer. So this is um, romantic, flirtatious, introspective, enchanting frog. <laughs> okay, a deeply emotional and probably romantic experience will sweep you off your feet. Things can move very quickly during such whirlwind encounters, so stay balanced and make decisions with both your heart and your intellect. So this is a general reading, but if you can fit it into a love situation, I say, you know, please do that. But I'm going to read it as a general reading, if I can. So this is the, I believe, the Knight of Cups. So this is, you know, taking action and movement, moving forward. I feel like you're taking action and movement forward. I feel like you know, you totally know whatever situation you're in. It could involve a Pisces in some way. It's no longer fulfilling. It's, um, it kind of reminds me here of the Four of Cups energy. So I feel like you're moving on here. You're moving in a direction that's more aligned with you, your true self. Um, taking that action and movement forward to your own peace and um, harmony. All right, so let's see um, what other energy is around you. The Emperor and the Princess of Summer. So here is Aries and here's water energy again. So definitely water, water, Pisces is water. So this is Emperor. Um, Aries energy now, but it doesn't have to be. So this is someone who's taking control, taking charge kind of energy. Dare mouse. Structure and organization are important right now. Don't be afraid to take on a leadership role as you have much wisdom to offer. And we had <laughs> we had wisdom here. So yeah, knowing and trusting your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, your wisdom from within taking control, taking charge of a situation that you're no longer happy in, that you feel like um, you don't belong in that situation anymore. You just don't belong there. And you know that, the High Priestess energy, you know that. And, and now, Princess of Summer. So this is messages. It's the Page of Cups. Sensitive, kind, open-hearted, inexperienced, dare. You can expect to kindle a new romantic relationship or close platonic or a close platonic friendship. You may suddenly receive an emotional message from someone or be invited to a social event. So, I mean, the Page of Cups here, um, and you see the fish here, which Pisces is the two fish. So this just could be, you know, taking control of a situation here, taking charge, control of your life, a situation that you're no longer feeling you belong in, and you know that. You, you know that. You intuitively know that. And this is taking action to your own personal happiness and um, healing energy. And this is the communication. Maybe apologies, um, you know, just communicating, taking charge, but doing it in a loving, compassionate way. And, you know, having apologies and that sort of energy. So let's see what your actual situation is. So we have release. Wow. Peacock, The Lovers, wow, Major Arcana, we have three Major Arcana, and another Major Arcana, holy crap, so, <laughs> we have Release, which is Peacock, it's time to release the past and move on to something new, this ending is the first step on the way to a happier future, and I see that here, with you taking that action and communicating that in a loving, peaceful, compassionate way. As you release and move on from this energy, you feel like you just don't belong in anymore. Wow. And I believe release here is death. So that's Scorpio. 
and then we have the lovers. So this is uh, Gemini energy, but it doesn't have to be flamingo. True and long-lasting love finds its way into your life. Follow your heart with caring actions and choices. So exactly, you're following your heart. You're making this. Lovers can also be about decisions, any kind of decisions. You're making a conscious decision here to release something no longer serving you. You no longer feel like you belong there or fit in there. I mean, it could be work. It could be a long-term relationship you've been in. Um, anything here. Releasing that and moving on and making conscious decisions from your heart and mind of what's best for you and being totally aligned with your true self and making those conscious decisions. And then here's the magician. So this is... Um, Gemini Virgo, but it doesn't have to be. So we got two cards of Gemini here. So you could be moving forward to a Gemini, or you could have Gemini heavily in your chart, but unicorn. There is magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need to be successful. So this is manifesting, one, a brand new beginning. So, yep, making conscious decision here, doing what's best for you, totally aligning with your true happiness in your contentment and your peace and your harmony and transformational energy and doing what's best for you and releasing what's no longer serving you that you just don't belong there anymore and manifesting a whole new beginning for yourself in some way shape or form so we have eight here which is affinity so you could have been going in circles and circles with this energy that you've been been in and you feel like it's going nowhere it's just back and forth like a roller coaster back and forth back and forth but now you're ready to leap out of that energy and transform yourself and have a brand new beginning and manifest this whole brand new beginning whole new beginning with one there is a brand new beginning wow major 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 so that's major major messages there all right so let's see what your advice is now Sagittarius in this situation six of autumn six of pentacles and the oh my god the high priestess I cannot make this up Holy shit, I cannot make this up. Here's the Owl of Wisdom. Holy crap. Blue butterfly here of transformation. Wow. Wow, Sag. Owl. This is a time to pause and reflect, not to take action. Trust in your spiritual gifts as nothing is hidden from your divine intuition. And also the High Priestess, priestess doesn't really share any information they kind of keep everything to themselves so you may not be sharing your thoughts and your feelings with anybody you may be you know just being keeping quiet um in this situation and he has confirmation here of the high priestess wow i cannot make look at all this major arcana you are going through something major here sagittarius something major so the first card we have for your advice is the six of autumn six of pentacles earth energy your success and prosperity have allowed you to pay off debts acquire wise wise again with wisdom there and then the owl wisdom wow <laughs> pay off debts acquire wise loans or receive a grant or scholarship in return for heaven's blessings be sure to share the wealth with others through donations or time of time or money to reputable charity reputable charities but this is the six of autumns which is six pentacles which to me is also very a very much balancing card so i feel like your advice is to you know do the work necessary here uh here's the feather again with the bird you know birds of a feather um and here's your working hard for your uh, balance and you know divinely guided here for your freedom for whatever you're leaving behind no longer serving you that you know you don't belong there anymore is to keep working and striving towards that to bring your balance but with the high priestess it's like you all the more all the more wiser intuition gut feelings knowing higher source of power transformation so as you work and balance out your energy of doing what's best for you, you're kind of keeping it quiet and you're not telling anyone and just doing what's best for you to balance yourself out. And that's your advice. Wow. Because you're going through a major, major change right now. All right. So, wow. So let's see what the possible outcome is now. So we have the six of spring. Nice. That's your energy. Fire energy here. Rescue dog. Mixed breed. You may receive a promotion. 
be chosen for a scholarship or find that you're singled out for special recognition. You've done an amazing job and you deserve all the attention. So this is being very successful, waving your banner of victory and success. So whatever you're doing here will bring in this, your own personal success and victory and you're very passionate about it. Six of Springs, Six of Wands, passion, desire. Um, go getting, you know, going after what you want, passion, drive, ambition. You know, being that go-getter and being very, very successful. Doing whatever you're doing here through this major change to bring you balance and um, stability, but keeping it to yourself as you make this decision to take control and release and move on and manifest a whole brand new beginning will bring you all the success and victory. Wow, Sag. Okay, because underneath that we had over here health. So that just, I mean, maybe there's something health wise. Um, okay, so we got health and love life. So this could be a relationship that, you know, you're leaving behind for your own health, for your better health, for your own pure, you know, success happiness peace and harmony and here we have spirituality and religion again spiritually guided here and following that war and battle so it might have been a very conflicting uh, relationship you were in here yep and then we have spouse so yep you could be leaving a marriage wow look at that vows right underneath but you know you're realizing here all the lessons and blessings that you've had in this marriage connection whatever it is for you but then now it's telling you to have trust and faith in your future as you move on with the ship energy as you move on towards better things for you as you sail away into a better place leaving all that bullshit behind I just did your love reading it's almost the same message here you could have children with this connection that you're leaving authority figures so again could you know be divorce here farm well I don't know what that means maybe you need to you know building and growing a new beginning um, going to a peaceful place here where there's not so much conflict maybe you feel like you've been bound and tied in that connection you were in wow all right Sag I could go through the whole deck here but uh, let's see trust and faith lessons and blessings Vows, spouse, battle, wars and battles. Yep. Okay. All right, Sag. This is a general reading, so I definitely feel like you're leaving something behind no longer serving you and moving on to a whole new beginning and manifesting a whole new beginning for you. All right, so let's get more clarity here. Ace of Autumn. Nice. Calico Cat. Earth energy here. You can expect a windfall of abundance, such as money, timely assistance, a serendipitous meeting or rewarding advice. You may be offered a fabulous new job or promotion or the prospect of a profitable business venture or investment. So this is a brand new beginning, the Ace of Pentacles, something more stable and grounded. So whatever you're leaving behind and going forward into the future, you're gonna have here with the Ace of Pentacles, much growth, abundance, wealth, uh, prosperity, stability, um, building the foundation to a long-term um, stable beginning that will be very victorious for you whether it's a new job or just a whole new life in general that's nice all right so let's see what else here four of autumn squirrel be cautious about living a life of extremes or seeing things in black and white terms consider for example whether you are spending too much versus how hoarding your wealth or giving too much emotionally versus building walls that keep you that keep people out. So, four of pentacles energy. This is like holding, whoops, holding on to what you have, and not letting it go, and also not sharing, uh, holding on, and holding back kind of energy. So, whatever that means for you, holding on to whatever you have to your stability, and holding back from also people around you, um, and that sort of energy too. Holding on and holding back can be also like a kind of stingy greedy kind of energy like not giving to others if that makes any sense for you 
five of summer dragonfly focus upon the fact that god loves you always loves you and always has the highest of intentions for you a positive outlook makes it easier to re to recover from life's little difficulties so that you can move forward you can move onward and upward so five of water five of cups energy no sorrow loss uh hurt so yeah a feeling that sadness sorrow hurt maybe over what you're leaving behind in that situation and moving forward there is some sadness sorrow loss and hurt two of summer lovebird you're falling in love or experiencing a deepening of emotion in your current relationship marriages or romantic partnerships in distress can still be saved don't give up so I feel like maybe you tried to work this out with this situation whatever it was for you um, you know you tried to come together you tried to work it out you tried to save it but I'm getting an energy here of you know trying but you know with the major here of releasing and letting go over trumps this minor of the two of cups so you know you might have tried to come together numerous times with this person and work it out but it just didn't work so now you're aligning with your true self with the two of cups is unity coming together and you know just aligning with your true self your true uh what soul purpose what you need to do for the betterment of yourself moving forward all right so let's see okay so <laughs> the wheel here's your card sagittarius the wheel of fortune major here reindeer caribou expect a sudden positive change in your life you can move forward and make great progress so this is the wheel of fate and destiny um things turning in your favor wheel of fortune prosperity wealth growth abundance everything turning in your favor things turning in a better direction for you so whatever you're moving forward leaving behind and moving forward to you have success and victory here you have the ace of Pent pentacles there which is a new stable beginning uh, balancing yourself out manifesting this new beginning taking control and things moving in a better direction and things going in your favor all right so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck the chariot okay you have so many majors here wow arabian horse this is cancer energy um the chariot you can successfully balance various or opposing energies at once through determination and focus. You've earned the rewards and recognition you're receiving. And also with here is about rewards, recognition, success, victory. And this is moving forward successfully tr through transformation, balancing out your energy, striving and moving forward with determination and success and victory. Wow. Nine of summer, nine of cups energy, Pomeranian dog. Now's the time to, now's the time when your dreams come true. Don't worry about how this will happen. Just give gratitude to God for all that you have and all that's still yet to come. So, you know, you have nothing but happiness and joy and good times coming, wish fulfillment, dreams coming true for the future. Nine is a single energy. So I think you're going into the single um, energy here and having that happiness joy wishes dreams coming true energy three of pentacles three of autumn miniature poodle dog you most your most satisfying profitable career comes from following your passions passions listening to your heart and doing what brings you joy listening to your heart your inner knowing and guidance your life purpose is best fulfilled by allowing your talents and true self to shine forth out into the world so this is you know three of pentacles working building growing uh learning new skills cooperation teamwork collaboration moving forward two of autumn abstaining cat you may be under stress because of multiple jobs or too many responsibilities for one person to manage it's important to balance up balance your work and personal life and bring spirit of fun to all you do so this is you know two pentacles you may be balancing a lot juggling a lot right now as you transition through whatever you're going through here so yep but i feel like this major change for you uh is the best thing that you can do for yourself right now as you move forward from whatever you're releasing and moving on from and you're going into a much happier 
successful new beginning here. And you may not be, you know, sharing much with others about what you're going through, how you're moving forward, what your plans are, but um, you're doing what's best for you. And I see nothing but growth, stability, uh, success, and victory. All right, so turn of fate, destiny, things going in your favor in the future. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven major arcana here out of, let's see, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 15, 16, 17. So, wow. So half of these are major arcana. So something major going on for you, Sagittarius, right now in your life. All right, so let's get a card of advice um, for Sagittarius. Guidance, advice, going forward. Amethyst, revealing your true self as you allow others to know the real you. You feel loved for who you truly are. So again, you know, and purple is the color of manifestation, as with the magician here, manifesting this brand new beginning and revealing your true self, what's best for you, moving forward, being the real you and being loved for who you truly are. Let's see what's on the, let me see here. So here we have Topaz, Forgiveness Heals, time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. And we did have health under there. So I feel like whatever you're moving on from really needs healing and forgiveness here. So you can just move on from it and just forgive it and heal it, whatever your situation was. Passion and purpose, your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. So following your passion and purpose as you move forward, you're being very successful, as with the six of um, wands there. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. We have jade, wellness, the recovery of health and wellness is here. So I feel like, again, with the green here, is represents you know wealth abundance growth expansion but it's also the um, heart chakra so I feel like you're following your heart you're doing what's best for you for your own wellness and sanity and moving forward in life sensitive emotions times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness so it might be you know a sensitive time here that you're going through all right Sagittarius, that was your general reading for the first half of August. Um, I hope it resonated for you. If it did, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so please don't miss out on that. And sending you uh, much luck here on your situation as you move forward. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.